Welcome back to another video guys. Today we are going over how to get your very first computer up into the cloud and to do that we are going to be using Azure. If you guys didn't know what Azure was, it's just a Microsoft platform where you can create and deploy virtual machines and other types of cloud infrastructure. And I'm showing you guys how to do this with a free account, getting a free virtual machine and having some free resources up in the cloud where you can do whatever you want. And to get started, all we need to do is head on over to azure.microsoft com slash free now to do this you just need to enter in your Microsoft account if you don't have one you can create a new one and start from there all right so I'm assuming you guys have your Azure account configured and ready to go so the first thing we're gonna go over really quick is how the infrastructure kind of works in Azure before we create the virtual machine so really quick we have something called our management groups and that will be at the top our management groups will manage our subscriptions we can have multiple subscriptions and then under each subscription we'll have resource groups and then under these resource groups you will have our virtual machines and that's just a really quick layout so you understand when we start creating our virtual machine where it's going to live inside of the azure portal that way you don't get lost because there is a lot of moving pieces. With that being said, after you have your free account and you click, click into subscriptions, you will notice that you already have a subscription. So we can ignore that step. And the next thing we want to look at is probably our resource groups. And we have absolutely none. So we're going to create a resource group and assign it to our subscription. We'll just name this test01. Our region East US will be our default. And you can just hit review and create. Now you can just see that test one is part of our Azure subscription one. The management group would be above this, but it's actually not needed. It's usually for bigger infrastructure or design to help manage everything. Of course, since we're just going to make one virtual machine right now, totally not needed. So next guys, we're just going to head over to our search bar and go to our virtual machines to start creating this. Simple as hit create Azure virtual machine. So as you can see, we have our subscription. Within our subscription, we created test01, so we'll make sure we select that. Our virtual machine name, we'll just name it VM01. And our region, um, East US is the most used. We're gonna go ahead and put this into East US2. Now the region is essentially just where the data center that Microsoft owns is going to store your virtual machine. So you can pick whichever place is closest to you because when you remote into the computer, you'll just get the best connection because it'll be the closest. And if you needed to, you can look up where each zone is and each region. That way you can get the closest data center. And now, as you can see down here, the size is actually not available in zone one. So we're just going to make sure to swap that to zone two. We're not going to be going over these availability zones and all these details right now, but it's again, just where the virtual machine is actually stored. Our image, we're going to be changing to a Windows 10. Also be sure it does say free services eligible. Otherwise you'll be paying a pretty penny for these virtual machines. So we're going to continue down here. This is going to be the standard size. This is the free size. Of course, it's not going to be a heavy duty machine. So don't be expecting you're getting a free heavy duty machine in the cloud right now. And then we're just going to be creating our username and password. The password does need to be at least 12 characters long. And they need to match. That is also important. And now our allowed selected ports, we want to have RDP open, which is 3389. RDP is our remote desktop protocol. And that is how we actually get into the machine. Now you can just hit this little checkbox at the end and we can go ahead and review and create. Now the deployment in progress does take a little bit maybe a minute max typically. So once this is completed, we're gonna go over our ports and make sure that this is restricted so nobody else can get into your virtual machine besides you. All right guys, and we're back. Our deployment is complete and it took about four minutes. Sorry, I lied. I did say it usually takes about one, which it does, I swear. Um, but just be a little bit patient. Now, if we go back over to our virtual machines, you'll see all the details here. 
you can go ahead and click on it. And here we get all of the information that we are looking for. We can see our resource group that we created, our size operating system, the IP address. This will be one of our more important things to copy. So make sure you get that copied over. Now I know that it does say my public IP address. This is not my home public IP. This is the virtual machines public IP. So feel free to go attempt to hack it. It's not gonna do anything. Probably won't exist by the time I am done with the video. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually go into our network settings to make sure that this virtual machine is secure and is only accessible from your house, your public IP. That way nobody else can get into it. So we head over down to where it says RDP, click on that. This will be our source port ranges. This is the only box that we need to worry about. You should have everything looking identical as long as you followed with the video and everything else is good to go. Now, a quick way to go find your public IP address is going to be into the internet browser. I'm gonna just type in, what's my IP? And just click on the first link and you'll go ahead and get your IP address. I'm not gonna show mine again this is definitely going to be playing my real IP address. So once you get that, go ahead and enter it in, whatever it is, 102 point whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm not gonna type mine in, I'm gonna leave it like that, nice and insecure. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now all we gotta do is remote into this device. So if we go back to overview, make sure that this machine is started. And just a little tip in case you are off of the free version, Microsoft likes to charge Azure virtual machines by their uptime. So if you don't want to be charged, hit stop, make sure it's fully deallocated and you won't be charged for your virtual machine hardware outside of storage. Storage is billed separately. But if you're on the free version, this is not something we need to worry about. Now, if you go over to your start menu and type in remote desktop connection, go ahead and open that up. And it will be right here. And the first thing that we're going to do is just type in this public IP address that is part of your machine. Ours is 20.81.237.159. And hit connect. Now you're gonna get your credential screen. We hit more choices. Make sure we use a different account and we're gonna use the credentials that we first created. In my case, it was Ryko Tech. I can spell and type in your password, hit OK. And that's it, we get into our virtual machine. Now let's go ahead and wait for this to sign in just to prove to you guys that this is a totally free virtual machine that we have in the cloud. Just keep in mind, it is not a power horse machine. It is very thin, so you can do a minimum number of things on it. Of course, you are definitely not going to be able to use this as a gaming computer, but if you wanna do some quick little scripts on it or create a machine to handle some kind of task. This is pretty cool. It could also internet browse, although it might be a little bit slow if you open up a couple tabs, because again, this is super thin and does not have a lot of hardware specs. Here we are. I'm not gonna walk through this whole OOBE out of box experience setup. Um, you can do that on your own, I hope. And I am going to close out of this. And that's it for the video, guys. That's a quick version of how you can set up your very first Azure Cloud virtual machine and have fun with it. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe and be sure to stay tuned for a lot more content. I got tons of things I wanna do, so it'll be very, very interesting going forward. Please go ahead and leave a comment on maybe something that you may find super interesting and I can probably loop that into a new video as well. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you like everything that I have on the agenda for all of my videos. So I'll see you in the next one.